Hey guys, Timmy Hype here on the second channel, and today we're starting something new with an off road lap time board. Now, me and a friend have already been working on this before, and we haven't got as many lap times as we had on the power lap time, but we do have a couple of lap times down for this track with a switchback trail. So, I've wanted to start doing this um, on the channel for a couple of weeks now. I've just never been, I don't know, I've just never wanted to be doing it. It's like, it's like a thought I've always wanted to do, but I've never been wanting to do it. That probably makes no sense, but yeah. Anyway, so we're going to be testing out the Jeep Trailcat of 2016. Now, usually, we would be on the highway circuit track, and they're giving them 10 laps. Except for this, we're going to give them three runs down, this tra uh, down the course, and see what they get the fastest lap time out of. Um, I'll tell you at the end of this video what it is. But, um, because this is the Jeep Shortcut and it's also in S1 class, you will see some highway circuit gameplay as well. Because it is still technically a power car, because it's got so much pulse power and can do that sort of stuff. So anyway, 2016 Jeep Shortcut is basically a Jeep with a Hellcat engine. You can buy it from the auto show for 71,250 credits. Uh, you can get it for free for the first time buying it with the Hot Wheels expansion. Or you can buy it from the auction house. Um, this car has 707 horsepower, 650 foot pounds of torque, and it weighs 4,600 pounds. Now, yes, it does weigh an absolute ton, but this car, it just feels like it doesn't weigh anything. It feels like we're just floating across the floor. It has 325s on the front, 325s on the rear. It's got off-road tyres as standards, and it's all-wheel drive. And that's probably why this car has such good... Uh, like it can get its power down really really well and it feels like it doesn't weigh that much it's because it can get all its power to all its wheels and it can get the traction since it's on off-road tyres so it can get its power down really really easily and like the weight is just nothing obviously for as it's weighing this much uh, yeah as, as it's weighing this much it's gonna have some seriously uh, slow acceleration and top speed tyres when we get into them just now so yeah, it's all-wheel drive, it's front engine, and it has a 6-litre supercharged V8, just like the Hellcats do. It's 0-60 in 4.2 seconds, 0-100 to in 9 seconds, 60-0 in 170 feet, 100-0 in 439 feet, and it's got a top speed of only 167 miles an hour. Now, there's two parts of this, the acceleration and deceleration bit is because of the weight, honestly. Um, that's it. it weighs so much so it's not going to have the best acceleration or deceleration um, and it's got a top speed of only 167 miles an hour there's two reasons for this it's way too heavy and the other reason is it's got pretty damn short gear ratios because it is technically designed to be an off-road Hellcat but as a Jeep body um, so like it's got a gear ratio so it can get out the corners as fast as possible now what do I think of this car? I think this car's really cool. It is my second favourite car from the Hot Wheels expansion. Um, I think it looks astonishing. It's a really cool looking car. It's just so crazy and it's what the Jeep Shotcat should have been. So, it's done a very good job there. Um, as for power and stuff like that, I think it's alright, obviously I wish it could have less weight, I think in the um, upgrades you can get out like a thousand of a thousand pounds, and like, that's crazy. Now you will see, I do go and restart here, but because I'm doing it all as one recording as I do, I will be in the future. If you see any crashes, uh, then that's it, uh, that's the run gone for the car, but anyway, so yeah, you saw me crash there, there's a really, really weird handling system in this car, like, Sometimes it feels like it has no grip and it'll just slide. And then sometimes it'll find all the grip and it'll be really, really twitchy. And you'll see in one of the later runs, I think it's next run, I turn one way and it grips up that too much that way. So I have to counter steer it because I've, gri I've uh, turned one way but it grips up again so it twitches about and I just end up throwing it into a wall. Like you see there, it, there, that is the exact moment. It lost control, I counter steer and it found a load of grip and I went straight into the wall. And, like, it, it is got some quite weird handling mechanics. But then again, it is off-road, so it is a bit different to usual. Now, we have one more one to cover with this, um, 
Jeep. But I'll tell you it's fastest time that we got. The fastest time we've got with it being an off-road car. So, before we do that, at the top of the leaderboard right now is the Lantia Delta S Pro Group B with a time of 207.094. At the bottom is the Toyota Hilux with a 248.001. Where would I expect this thing to come out? I expect it to come uh, about mid-table. There is 25 cars on this um, board, including the trail cat. The trail cat came fourth, got a 212.699. That puts it in between the Audi number no. two Audi Sports Quattro S1 with a 212.666. Now that's very close, them two cars. And the Subaru number no. 199WX STI V15, VT15R, which had VT15R rally car, which has a time of 216.503. Now. Think about it, them cars are designed to be rally cars. They're meant to find grip where it's impossible to find grip. They're meant to go as fast as possible around the track and not have a greater top speed. And this thing goes right between them. And it practically nearly equalizes on that uh, Audi Quattro. That shows how, how decent and good this is off road. Um, so, yeah. Um, it, it has done incredibly well for itself. Now, I'll leave you with the rest of this run, and I'll pick it up when we go onto the highway circuit. So we are here at the highway circuit and you'll see that I'm not going to include all 10 laps that I did with this car because that would make the video just way too long and it's simply just unnecessary. Now obviously this car is a uh, off-roader and it's on off-road tyres so on the tower it's going to have that little less grip and it's going to slide about a bit more than usual car would. But then again it's also got decent grip because it's better than the start, uh, better than standard road tyres. So we're kind of in that mix where it's just going to be a bit bit more obscure than usual, but it's going to have a bit more grip than usual as well. Um, but overall, this car drives very, very well. Uh, I do like the way it drives. It's it's very much my style of driving. I prefer that car that's just a tad bit more oversteery. Um, it doesn't really have any understeer. Like, obviously, if you push it too much, it's going to understeer, and that's just a given. Any car's going to do that. If it, Even if it's rear-wheel drive, if you push it too much around a corner, then it's going to understeer off. And this car doesn't have that much at all. Um, but, honestly, I think I might prefer to drive this on the road than off the road. It's just got that bit more control in me, I feel, personally. So where did I think it was going to come on the leaderboard? Well, it's an S1 class. Um, and, well, the Hellcats are in A class, okay, are just at the top of S, uh, just at the bottom of S1 class, so it's about the same as the Hellcats. The Hellcats fastest time was a 106.867, but I thought, will it go faster than that? I don't think so. I was wrong. The fastest that we got with the Jeep Hellcat was a 106.366 which beats the Hellcat 
It beats a Jaguar F-Type R Coupe A, Coupe A. But it's, it's very close because there's um, the 106s go from the Chevrolet Corvette that I want, which beats the Hellcat, the 106.168, I mean the Trailcat, not the Hellcat, all the way down to the Dodge Challenger Hellcat, the 106.900. So this part of the table is very close together. But yeah, this car is pretty damn well. It is a very nice car to drive, and I definitely do recommend you um, using it because it is a very, very cool car. Anyway, I'll leave you the rest of the gameplay this, this lap on one more, I think. If not, it should be at the end of this lap. But, that's it from me, TMD's Hyper, signing out.